Well, that song, Ma Meshe, a tribute song to Ebony. The late Ebony, as always, had good tunes over the last year. And we again say, uh, rest in peace, Ebony. But, um, well, if opportunity doesn't knock, build a door. The quote means that if you don't come across the opportunity you want, you just have to make sure you take the initiative to increase your chances of getting that opportunity. If you are a student trying to get a scholarship, for instance, an opportunity not knocking means no one is offering you scholarships or you haven't seen one you're eligible for, to build a door here could mean you putting yourself in places where scholarships are offered, like maybe attending school talks, seminars, or undertaking some philanthropic activities, or like joining a foundation. It could also mean improving yourself academically or in a different field like sports, the arts, uh, and all to a level that will qualify you for certain scholarships. Whatever the analogy, the crux of this quote is action. You have a choice. You can choose how much and how drastic of an action you want to take to get that opportunity. It could be anything from self-improvement to networking. But you still need to take that action to attain that opportunity. We hope that we all take the necessary actions, hence, to get to the doorsteps of great opportunities. Thanks for joining me. Uh, myself and Mamavio Osoabuaji, and we'll be joined by the Roverman team. We'll have great interaction today. And of course, Ellis Couture, thanks for my shirt this morning. Beautiful shirt, by the way. But just in case you don't know, you can get interactive. On Facebook, we stream the live. Join us on TV is the name of our page on Facebook. And we also have a channel on YouTube. My Joe Online TV, we're always streaming there. Please, data is cheap. Make sure you bundle and watch us online as always as you can. But today, we'll conclude the first part of our advocacy for Rashida. You all know that young head porter whose story was brought to light by a good colleague, Jojo Kobner, uh, who had migrated down south from north. Well, now she's seeking to return to the north to uh, learn some good trade, be conversant with um, fashion designing and even open her own school or place where she can impact knowledge on other people. So Rashida will be joining us on the show today uh, and he'll be here together with Jojo Kobner who broke his story. So please we'll be opening the phone lines and we want those pledges and gestures to be coming in. Do some great char charity to improve someone's life. But as always, Fridays are not without our relationship talks. And so uh, joining us uh, with the Roverman team, um, we'll be asking a critical question. For example, we'll be looking at how do you keep your relationship alive at a time when everyone seems very busy with work and other things? Mm -hmm. How do you spice your relationship? How do you do that? So we'll be talking about all the great conversations today. And we hope that when you get interactive, you'll be on point as you give us all your concerns but also comments on all the great things you watch on the show we would have brought you the latest news headlines also brought you the latest sports stories because we know we're going to the weekend and uh, the lineups for the various leagues will be up and running with benedict also and the rest of the sports team of course we'll wrap up with entertainment but now let, let's bring to you the latest news headlines we have in the studio stick and stay we'll be right back <laughs> 